The Ball brothers were once the talk of basketball. They had their own TV show, they ran California high school basketball, and their father, LeVar, was constantly making outrageous claims which the media scooped up and then created more stories about. And LeVar knew how to draw attention and did not care what anybody thought about him and his family. Heck, he is the same way today, and he has been running his mouth and making outrageous predictions for his sons before any of the boys were even in the NBA. He once promised that all three of the boys would make it to the league and people laughed at that statement. However, two of the three are currently on NBA rosters and one of them is close to making a roster. The oldest Lonzo has developed into a solid guard and recently inked a multi-year deal with the Chicago Bulls. He was drafted by the Lakers and was later traded before signing in Chicago this past offseason. LaMelo is the youngest and he is coming off of a season where he was named the NBA Rookie of the Year. He is a solid scorer and a good passer and often shows off a flashy play style. So that leaves the middle son, LiAngelo. LiAngelo was once a three-star recruit who was committed to play for UCLA, but because of an incident where he attempted to steal sunglasses from a store in China, he was suspended from the Bruins and ended up dropping out of school. Since then, he has played in a number of different leagues, including the Lithuanian Professional League and his father's own creation, the Junior Basketball Association. But after receiving the invite to play in the NBA Summer League for the Charlotte Hornets this past offseason, he has had a chance to finally join his brothers in the NBA. He performed well in the Summer League and convinced many that he is the real deal. Today we are going to discuss what players and analysts around the league have said about LiAngelo finally getting his shot in the league. Now before we get into it, we wanted to announce something special that is happening on this channel. As a thank you for all of your support, we are going to be giving away a free PS5 or Xbox One with a copy of NBA 2K21. All you have to do to enter is drop a like on the video, subscribe to the channel, watch all the way through, and comment down below to be entered. We will announce the winner once we reach 50,000 subscribers on the channel. LiAngelo is currently waiting and hoping for an NBA contract. The Ball brothers are always a subject of discussion, so many different players and analysts have shared their opinions on Ball receiving a deal. Let's begin by looking at what the Boston Celtics star Jason Tatum had to say about the situation. In response to a question about if LiAngelo deserves a spot on an NBA roster, Tatum declared, yeah, I think so. I think it's only right. He's put in the work. I'm sure he'll find his way onto a team somewhere. His brother Lonzo naturally has shown his support for LiAngelo publicly by tweeting encouraging words for LiAngelo. Say what you want about the Ball family, but they are a tight-knit group. The Atlanta Hawks' Solomon Hill tweeted, Jello one of the best scorers to come out of SoCal. Out of the three, he was the bucket. The general consensus is that players around the league believe LiAngelo deserves a shot. He averaged 9.6 points per game during the summer league while adding 1.6 steals per game as well and he showed that he has the shooting ability to make an impact on an NBA roster. The issue would be flexibility. Is LiAngelo only a spot-up shooter? And if that is all he can offer, would NBA teams still be interested? The truth is, he is not much of a passer or a rebounder, and his defense does not stand out. Averaging almost two steals a game shows that he is working on his defense, but it still has room to improve. The thing to note is that he is not necessarily awful at any of these aspects of the game, he would just have to continually work to improve them enough so they could be weapons for him at an NBA level. So let's take a look at what the analyst had to say about LiAngelo. Michelle Steele of ESPN admits that it would be a challenge for LiAngelo to make an NBA roster, but she also says that he could help a Hornets team that lacks shooting. NBA reporter Jordan Schultz remarked in a tweet, Lots of buzz around LiAngelo Ball, who's played very well during Summer League and is vying for either an NBA or G League spot. Having spoken with multiple members of the Hornets organization, they love Jello, has proven to a ton of doubters that he's a legit guy and a big time worker. Spoke with Hornets assistant coach Jay Triano and he said this of LiAngelo Ball. Great kid, love him. He was at the facility practicing every day for two months to play in the Summer League. Shows a ton of character. He can shoot it, great feel, knack for scoring. Now these comments help to clarify how the Hornets feel about Ball as they seem to appreciate what he has done so far with his opportunity. The Hornets are the team who gave him a chance in the Summer League, so they would be the likeliest organization to offer him a contract. And the fact that LaMelo is on the roster could be another reason to bring LiAngelo into the fold. 
The brothers have always had good chemistry together, and LaMelo's presence could help LiAngelo to feel comfortable and play to the best of his capabilities. Michael Jordan, who is the Hornets' owner, has also expressed that he believes LaMelo is a terrific player. Perhaps his admiration for LaMelo could cause him to give LiAngelo a chance. Is it possible that another team swoops in and tries to steal LiAngelo away? Absolutely, but given that no deal has been made so far with only about a month left until the regular season begins, makes the idea seem unlikely. The main reason another team would inquire about LiAngelo at this point in the offseason is if one of their players suffers a significant injury during training camp or the preseason. Sports analyst Sham Sharania proclaimed on a talk show that LiAngelo should be able to ink a contract, but he may need to settle for the G League. His exact quote states, yeah, his future could be in Charlotte in training camp. Overall, I think it's going to be best in terms of whether there's going to be a team that wants to sign him to a camp deal. Sharania continued, Maybe you'll see Charlotte. He seems like a guy that likely signs an Exhibit 10 contract, goes with the team, and then likely spends the year in the G League. Now, the point that Sharania is trying to make is that the worst case scenario for Ball seems to be a stint in the G League. He also mentions that it is possible a different team comes in and tries to sign him. And from what we have gathered so far, all of the signs are pointing toward LiAngelo at least getting a chance in the G League. And while that is not the main goal for the 22-year-old, it is better than no contract at all. Popular social media basketball presence Flight posted a video where he reacted to LiAngelo scoring 16 points in 16 minutes, and he was very impressed. He said he hopes LiAngelo gets a contract and basically told Michael Jordan to sign him. Now, while Flight may not seem like a verified source, he has actually earned quite a bit of respect around the basketball community. And even though his content is meant mainly for entertainment purposes, he does understand the game of basketball and might have a future working for the league. Okay, back to LiAngelo. So, LiAngelo has shown the ability to score the basketball throughout his career, stemming back to high school. He led all California players in scoring during his senior year and even posted an insane 72-point game. He was one of the leading scorers in both Lithuania and the Junior Basketball Association. Wherever he has gotten an opportunity, he has been able to consistently find the bottom of the net. At this point, there is no reason at least to give the guy a chance. So before we go, you might ask why isn't LiAngelo already in the NBA if he is such a good scorer? Well, the reason for that is quite simple. Remember that stealing sunglasses incident that we mentioned earlier? Well, that is what led to Ball hurting his NBA chances. President Donald Trump literally had to talk to the Chinese government and convince them to allow LiAngelo and his teammates who were involved as well to be able to return to the United States. Otherwise, they would have faced multiple years in a Chinese jail. After Ball was suspended from UCLA, the NBA teams who may have been interested disappeared. They did not want to deal with that kind of drama. Had the incident never happened and LiAngelo played at UCLA, there is a very good chance that he would be scoring buckets in the NBA right now. But because he made the mistake, his journey has been a long and tedious one. With the sunglasses mayhem now in the past, teams will likely be more comfortable offering him a contract. The only question now is if they believe enough in his talent to give him a spot on the roster. It is apparent that most of the basketball community is not only rooting for him, but genuinely believes that he is deserving of a roster spot. We will find out next month if LiAngelo Ball will be in the NBA this season. So what do you guys think? Should LiAngelo be on a team this season? Will he spend the year on a G League team? What does the future look like for LiAngelo Ball? And before you go, remember to like the video, subscribe to our channel, and comment below for your chance to be entered into the giveaway. Also, don't forget to smash that bell so you don't miss out on any future content.